Hey Warriors, it's Victoria and I'm just heading out for an evening uh, with the family at a big event and so I just wanted to cut a quick video because I was thinking about the magic of what if. So uh, over the holidays my cousin came to visit me from across the country and she said that just before she left the house she had a, this flood of thoughts like oh no what if I forgot something important oh no what if I can't get it what if you know and all these scenarios kept coming up for her and she said I just switched it I thought what if I have everything that I need and what if I get there and I didn't bring something but it's easy for me to get and so what I found interesting about that little question that she had is that I've been using that all through my recovery. And it's a really good way to shift and redirect your thoughts. So, um, you know, I know if you're bed bound and house bound, this, this is not that awesome of a tool because it's not like, oh, I can just think what if and everything's going to magically change. It's not about that. But it is about saying, what if I find the resources that I need to improve? What if uh, I begin to feel better? What if my life isn't over and life is going to begin again? You know, these kind of thoughts get us going in a better direction. And I just have to speak to this because when you are housebound or bedbound, it's really challenging when the four walls are your company and you're isolated. So, you know, it those thoughts are more of a symptom and an um, expression of CFS, ra obviously, rather than the illness, but it's just something that we have to deal with, um, those kind of negative loops. And so, uh, like today, I went swimming, and I had a big day before that, and then tonight I'm going out. And so normally if I swim, I might do something different the next day or that evening. I don't go out. So this is kind of a what if for me. What if I go out tonight and everything's great and I get a really good night's sleep and feel so much better in the morning? And as I said, this has helped me all through recovery. So I would often think, you know what, like earlier in the journey, what if... I go and do this activity and I feel better afterwards or I feel okay. And what if when I try to explain to my friends what's going on with this invisible neurological illness that they understand? And what if I do this new program and it actually helps me and by the end of the year I have made massive improvements in my health. So I just want to encourage you to think of some good thoughts when you start thinking what if, because I think we all do it. Um, so let's rather than go the negative direction, let's turn those into the positive direction. So warriors, remember, life is not over, it's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you. If you're enjoying my videos, go ahead and give me give it a like. That helps it reach more people that might be in some dark places. And go ahead and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook. I, I love hearing what's going on with my warriors. So leave a comment. Let me know. Share anything you'd like from your journey. And I'm always loving to hear any ideas for future videos that you'd like to see. Thanks, warriors.